So Jay, did you hear that uh, Dr. Dre's The Chronic is finally coming to Spotify? I, di I didn't know that it wasn't on Spotify. How could something that huge not be on Spotify already? It's been an Apple Music exclusive, but it is now coming to other streaming services on April 20th. Yes, that is 420. That is an absolutely true fact. I'm just gonna leave that there. Let's get on with the show. Today is Friday, April 10th. It's The Current's Music News. I'm Jay. And I'm Jade. And there are so many artists who are releasing albums right now. Some have pushed them back, that's true. But there are still so many artists who are looking at May and June dates for their big releases and, you know, tr still trying to think about that typical how do you release things. You release singles and then you release the album and then you go on tour and you have music videos. Now the music video portion of this is something that I, I think musicians are so adept at trying to figure out the most creative way to make do with what they have. And you can really see it with two particular artists right now. Uh, Tao and the Get Down, Stay Down, who has an album coming out May 15th called Temple, and Phoebe Bridgers. Her album's coming out June 19th, and uh, she was really looking forward to traveling to Japan and recording it on location and having it re be this really beautiful, sort of spiritual-looking <laughs> music video. Well, obviously she's not going to Japan to record it, so what did she do instead? Uh, sort of like the green screen situation where you see her running and there's just images of different... Uh, Japanese backgrounds behind her. It's goofy and kind of perfect. Uh, Tao, though, Tao stepped it up a notch. You might have jumped on to a Zoom meeting and kind of seen that all the faces pop up in an orderly fashion. Tao saw that and got inspired to make her music video, which is so incredibly choreographed that it's kind of unbelievable. The song's called Phenom, and I think you just need to see it for yourself. Fierce you, I will not drop it Power, cowards never stop it I have nurtured you, corrupted I am erupting, born and erupted So Jade, have you been getting down with any living room dance parties while we've been sheltering uh, in place? Jade, do you not know me? This is, that's my life. Every day is a living room dance party. So, uh, yes. Nice, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've been getting down with DJ Dave Dave every once in a while, and I find that with a Zoom dance party, I find it hard to resist wanting to do some costume changes, bring in props. It's like, no, Jay, just, just dance. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, DJing, live streaming sets is a huge thing now, and Billboard takes a look into the world of what they call Corona raving. DJs taking their DJ sets online, and Billboard asks, is this a viable business model now? Well, the answer is not really. First of all, uh, writer Zell McCarthy points out, live streaming DJ sets is not a completely new thing. Artists like Brooklyn's Soul Clap have been doing it for years, so the technology has been in place for now when it's really needed, but there's a reason it hasn't really taken off until now when it needs to. For one thing as a DJ, it's hard to get paid DJing online. Pretty much you're just asking people to Venmo you, which is better than nothing, not a lot better than nothing. Then there's a question of the artists who you're spinning. They might not be getting paid either, depending on what platform you're using, what technology you're using, depending on what agreement that platform has reached with labels. You could get takedown notices. So it's not easy, but if you're out there and you do appreciate a good live stream DJ set, uh, your DJs do need your support more now than ever, because as Billboard points out, ultimately still the best way to get paid as a DJ is to work in a club. And Sadly, a lot of clubs are not going to survive this pandemic. So if your favorite uh, DJ throws up a Venmo and you're able, maybe consider throwing him a few bucks. And talking about throwing a couple of bucks towards a good cause, uh, this is something that started as maybe a teeny tiny beef, but ended up going into a really positive direction. So earlier this year, uh, hip hop artist Aesop Rock released a song called Rogue Wave. Now, he probably didn't know this, but there is a band called 
Rogue Wave. And that band saw it and thought it was kind of funny. And so they decided that they were going to release their own song back to Aesop Rock called Aesop Rock. And this one is actually uh, all going to support Bay Area families in need. So yes, it's a little back and forth. Maybe it's a little bit saucy, but kind of sweet in the end that it's all going to a good cause. I hope there's an IRL collaboration between those artists when we're able to come together again. I would love to see it. Bring a little hip hop and some indie rock back together. That would be sort of like completing the circle. Yeah, totally. Well, that's today's music news. We'll be back next time with another update. Um, you can like and follow us to make sure you catch the next update. And in the meantime, listen to the original live stream DJ set, The Radio. Jade and our colleagues are on The Current. You can find it on the actual radio or on our app, on our web stream, on your smart speaker, whatever works for you. And uh, click in the comments to let us know what music news stories are meaningful to you right now. The name of a 1959 Greatest Hits album by The King was 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong. That is just about the number of people who have tuned in to see a live stream performance by Brazilian singer Marília Mendonça. It is archived on YouTube and it is pretty compelling. I don't speak Portuguese, but I went to Google Translate and it told me that the video description translates as calling all the horns. The queen of suffering will give your quarantine strength to be more cool. And I have got to give it to her. It is hard to look as cool as Marilia Mendoza does sitting there in her green living room, absolutely belting it from a chair for a set that lasted about as long as the movie Ben-Hur. Check it out. Se você faz amor comigo, como faz?